Hi, welcome to our video on defining the identity and inverse properties of addition and multiplication. So to get an idea of what this is all about, we'll start with this question and then we'll look at the background behind it. So this says, which equation can be used to help solve the equation below? And what's that equation say? Well, it says something, that's what this, this square is, it's a blank space, times, well I guess you could think of it as anything, right? But I think it was an empty space. In other words, what number goes into the space? So what number times 6 equals 420? So notice they're not even looking for the answer. I mean, the first thing that pops in my head, though, if I want to know what to multiply 6 by to get 420, I'm going to take 420 and divide it by 6, and that will give me my mystery number. Why is that? Well, let's just think about something that's often referred to as fact families. Let's say if I had the number 2 times 6, and that was 12. Well, then, another step in the fact family, we could write, well, then 6 times 2 is 12. We can change that order right there. We could also say, well, if we're using multiplication to combine these products, to, these factors to get this product of 12, we can take 12 and divide it by one of the factors, like 6, to get 2. Or we can take 12 and divide it by 2 to get 6. And this, this is a fact family, right? Connecting inverse operations, in this case multiplication and division, or we can do addition and subtraction. But the idea is that this always works. And that in fact this right here, I think matches pretty nicely to our equation, except instead of the number 12 and 2, we have 420 and some unknown. So 420 divided by 6 will give us the, the, the missing number. And in fact, D says that exact same thing, except they've reversed the order. And of course, this, right, writing it like this is the same thing as writing the equation this way, the order that we write this does not matter. Now these other operations, um, 420, 420 plus 6, that would work if the original equation, equation said something like, well, something, right, minus 6 is 420. Well then 420 plus 6 will give us that missing something. This equation right here is if we started with something, something plus 6 equals 420. Why? Because, well then, 420 minus 6, right, gives us that something. And this equation would have worked if they had started with something like a missing number divided by 6 gives us 420. Because if that was true, then 420 times 6 would give us the missing number. But here, we have a, a, a division problem as our answer, which is the inverse problem to multiplication. It's a pretty quick way to match, match this up. So we have lots of other videos. Um, you might see videos of, for this called solving for x. So solving, this is an algebra type of problem. And this is introductory. If you want to look at more videos, check out our 7th grade uh, math video list or just our algebra list. Alright, thanks a lot.